What's up, everybody, and welcome to the Weekly Flare Podcast, episode 36. 36. That's six times six. Chris, we've done a lot of episodes. We have. All right, so if you don't know who we are by now, or if this is your first time listening or watching, welcome. My name is James Walter, and with me is Mr. Chris Garcia. Chris, did you get a haircut? Uh, two Sundays ago. Two Sundays ago. Hmm. Well, that's good. Um, I don't know why I just noticed it now, not uh, last week, but... I like my hair short. Yeah. Uh, that's cool. It looks good. Shorter uh, hair is like, like typically looks better, so... I do. <laughs> on girls, it does not. You remember last, oh man, what, five, five years ago? I don't know. Were you, were you trying to keep up with Joey? I'm trying to keep... <laughs> no. No. No one could keep up with Joey. His Justin, hair was so long. Justin Bieber. It was not Justin Bieber bad. Your hair was bad. Mm-hmm. Mine was. Yeah, your hair was not good. Chris, we're not a podcast about hair, though. What are we a podcast about? Technology, positive news stories, Amiibos, That's video right. games, movies. We, we haven't, we're kind of just a hodgepodge. I was kind of thinking about it today, how our podcast is kind of just whatever kind of happens that week that we feel like talking about. Like, um, some weeks it's all technology news. Some weeks we're like scrounging to find anything that's interesting to anyone other than us. But uh, it's worked out so well so far. I think so. So, yeah. So, Chris, what do you say we get on in to talking about some things other than us talking about talking about things? Definitely. Um, I don't know if you've ever heard about it. I think I've heard something about it. Uh, but there's a you know post and some... I guess they also do some hodgepodges of people of New York. The people of New York. The people of New York. Yeah, I've heard about this. Um, and so I guess they take pictures of people, you know, in New York and, you know, what their story is and where they come from and where they grew up. And right, how they kind of why they ended up in New York exactly. or how they ended up in New York. Or... So I guess there's this comedy page that started two weeks ago on Facebook of all places. Oh, imagine that. Something on Facebook that is actually worth talking about. <laughs> that is a, that is very true. I was actually that's amazing story. in and of itself. I was talking that should be the whole story earlier this week, and I was like, man, I don't even I don't even know why I have a Facebook. The only reason I have a Facebook is to keep in contact. For that, like one person that insists on Facebook messaging you instead of texting you. There's really that one person. That one person, and you know who you are. Yes, you do. Stop it. But um, they started this Facebook page, and it's had thirteen thousand likes. Wow. Uh, that's in, a lot of likes. In two weeks. That's, that's pretty good. That's pretty um, good. And I don't that's know how many good. they have right now. I can probably look it up right now. Uh, yeah, it's a lot. In the middle. Let's get into what this Facebook page is actually about because it's pretty It's pretty funny. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Uh, some people will find it funny, some other people, but um, I don't know about you. Well, I know you are. Never mind. Yes, Lord of the Rings fan. It. Yeah, Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings, I think. Great. Most Most of Americans are Lord of the Rings fans. I think most of them at least have heard of it. I would hope so. You'd have to really be trying hard not to have heard about Lord of the Rings at I, this point. I would say when I was when it came out, I think I could say I was a I was a fan. The movies. Yes, the yeah, movies. Not uh, the books. Lord of the Rings, definitely. I don't read. You don't read? Mm-hmm. How'd you find this news story? Because you forced Pirate me. Glass? You you, for, you, you forced me to I did. Did you, did you get my me message? Me. I was like, Chris, stories. Did yes, you ask my Twitter message? I did, I was actually looking as soon as oh, you okay. said that. And so, like, uh, they, they basically um, take pictures of orcs in New York City and uh, give them captions of their stories, how they got there. And they're pretty funny. Why don't you read a couple, Chris? All right, that's fine. Some of the good ones. Uh, like, I grew up in a traditional household. I took weekly lessons in black speech, and my parents wanted me to get an engineering degree. I ended up with a BA in psych and visual art. Uh, they were pretty good about it. Many thanks to Carl Daniels for referring his orcish friend. Go down to the one, uh, it was like the third one, I think. I've worked at Blackgate for 15 years. No, it was long before that. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm not from New York. Yeah, that one. Let me see. Uh, I'm not from New York. I moved here for a few years ago to be an actor like everyone else. When I was growing up, growing up, you never saw orcish face on billboards. Uh, there were no orcs on Friends or Sex and the City. I think that affected all of us, Every, everyone I grew up with. The media never taught us to think that we're beautiful. So yeah, it's tough and there are so few roles open to orcs, but it's that dream of making a difference, giving our kids role models on TV that keeps me going. It's great, they have one where the guy, and it ranges from like things that are serious like that to one there's a picture of an orc like sitting on a bench. 
like making kind of a sad face. He's like, I broke three phones this week. I think I'm cursed. <laughs> I mean, they're just, they're just really clever. It's really funny. Chris, you're going to have to turn your vibrate off if you have your mic winged up against, oh, your phone up against the mic. Is it, is it it's gonna, the, the mic's going to be like, <laughs> and they're gonna be like, what is that noise? Sorry. Uh, no, it's hilarious. Like, they're just really funny. And, clever. Um, they're clever. The pictures of the orcs are pretty good. they like, I, I imagine they're photoshopped in and not that they had someone dressed up as an orcs and because like the orcs look really well from the movies. Yes. So the photoshopping is done really well. Um, because like I said, they look like they're really there. They did a really good job with it. I think it's people. Just, yeah, I think, it's just really funny. <clears throat> I don't, I don't think those are people in costumes. I don't because they look. I mean, I'm some some of them might be, but I don't know. I feel like there would be people staring in the pictures if they were. Exactly what I was thinking. There's the one right here, uh, the one that says, I've, I've worked at the Black Gate for 15 years. As I get older, I find myself losing connection to the hopes and aspirations I had as a younger work. There's something sad about that, but there's also something comforting. That one, he looks like the, the guy, I think, from the Two Town. No, that, that one's from the Return of the King. From Return of the King. Return yeah. of the King, yeah. where he's like, I, I want like fresh meat. Yeah, yeah, fresh yeah, meat. He looks yeah. exactly like yeah. that. Yeah, oh man. That mean, it's just really funny. It's really clever. Um, I, the guy that came up with it, it's, it's just really funny. It's really good. You should go check it out. We'll link, I guess we'll link that story below and then you can find it from there. Yeah, I'll probably go like their Facebook page just to go like it. It's pretty good. It's pretty clever. If you're into funny stuff on the internet, which you probably are, if you like cat pictures or inspirational posters of cats, you'll probably like this. Yes. All right, Chris, what else we got? My phone is going off tonight. I know, your phone has just been like non-stop, right, man. Here. You gotta tell people like, hey, it's podcast time. It's podcast Get time. Get out of here. They need to do that. They need to have a podcast button that shuts all of my That's right, you need to have off. a podcast thing that's just like, silence. Silence. Auto reply, I'm podcasting. Check it out at <laughs> theweeklyplayer.com. That'd be a great idea, actually. You have a link to our, to our Meerkat stream. That'd be a great idea, I might need to do that. Um, but here's a good one. My my mom is Polish, so I kind of understand a does little bit. Does she make of, good sausage? She actually does. does. No, she actually okay. does. Um, same thing with pierogies and uh, sauerkraut, uh, cabbage rolls. Ew. Cabbage is gross. It's good if you wrap. I've, ne the, I've yet to have good cabbage, but go my on. My grandma makes good food, man. But um, I didn't say food, I said cabbage specifically. <laughs> but moving, like... The Polish, being Polish is actually really interesting because my great grandparents came here. I don't know, it was my great great grandparents, I think. But for them to get jobs in or, uh, in in Chicago, where they moved to, they had to change their last name from Panichko to Panico. So Panichko is definitely Polish. Um, so they had to change it to Panico. So I kind of don't understand that kind of you know going down the line. But <clears throat> excuse me. And now you end up with the Garcia. I, it's, just, uh, it's, it's what happens. Um, but we have uh, George and Lucia and were given up for adoption. Um, but neither of them knew they had a twin. No, they were uh, like infants when they were given for Yeah, adoption. exactly. Uh, the twin boys went to separate families after their Polish mother, who was freed from a labor camp after the end of World War II, became too ill to look after them. Um, so the, 70 years later. 70 years. 70 years. I haven't even hit 70 years. I, I'm not even close. I'm, I'm like not even halfway yet. I'm adopted, and I'll be honest, I've always wondered if there's a twin out there. If there's a twin? Oh, man, I hope not. I, that's what everyone says. Man. But, um, Another Chris? <laughs> that, that would just be too much Garcia to go around. I know. It was way too much. Right. But um, thanks for a little help from the Red Cross. The two brothers were reunited um, after saying goodbye to each other as infants. I don't, well, they didn't really I mean, say goodbye. They didn't really say goodbye. But yeah. Um, he tried to find him in the 60s, uh, but the search turned up empty. Uh, yeah, one of them, I guess, came to the U.S., and Skin I think that was the one that tried to find his brother, right? Yeah, Skinzineki uh, went on to move to the U.S. Meanwhile, his brother, uh, Lucien, 69, spent his entire life. And he didn't him. know he had him. No. any adopt any family from his adopted mom until, like, last year or something yep. like that. Poznowski, uh <laughs> learned he had a twin brother only... Last year, when yeah. he received information about his birth mother and discovered his twin had also been adopted. So he didn't even know he was adopted? No. I Did he know that he was adopted and just didn't know about his mom being in a labor camp, maybe? It's not clear. It's really not clear. Um, but 
Uh, Skazneski came back to Poland to meet his brother, um, and they met at the Warsaw airport. So I thought that was pretty cool. I actually watched a little bit of the video, and it was actually pretty emotional. Yeah, it's it's really cool that the Red Cross has this whole thing in place to help reunite people who were torn apart by wars mm -hmm. and stuff. And uh, yeah, they like I said, they they like found out that they were both still alive, and uh, the Red Cross helped them meet up with each other, and it's pretty cool. I think so. They're, they're um. I guess, what is it, Ancestry.com? Yes, that they're, is a website. They're getting deeper into that type of stuff with... Um, <clears throat> it's amazing D how, how you can find people now. Mm -hmm. like you can go on there and be like, oh yeah, I'm so-and-so to so-and-so to so-and-so. And you're mm -hmm. like, hey, look, I'm related to this random person somehow. And it's pretty cool. DNA testing is getting really hardcore now. You can like do a DNA test with a kit mm -hmm. and send it to Ancestry.com and they'll actually do a very, very far background a lot more than right then if you just go on and type in your name exactly yeah they can go back and like it's crazy so i i think it's pretty cool i have actually considered it but the thing is with being adopted i don't really have any information on that well you have your dna i do have my dna you know your the name of your birth i don't i don't, see any, I don't <clears throat> have any information it'd be pretty hard then i think so but um yeah i i just thought it was a really cool story um a lot better than the orc one i honestly think yeah uh uh, probably a little bit more um, emotional, driven, hard touching. Hard touching. You know, the orc one's pretty great, but not the same kind of great. Exactly. Yeah. So I, like I said, I like that story. I might send that one to my mom because she has that kind of connection there as well. Yeah, I, you know the whole Polish thing. Mm, right? Exactly. And the adopted thing is that what you're going for? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Maybe that'd make a little bit more sense. But all right, cool, cool, cool. Well, Chris, um, what do you say we take a break real quick? Okay. Kind of early. We'll take a break. And then we're going to come back and let's talk about uh, some other interesting things Perfect. going on in the world right now. So don't go away. We'll be right back.